today I'm going to talk about how to repurpose your enamel pin designs into other products. This is something that's really important for me. I know I like to diversify. I like to have different price points in my shop and uh, this just helps uh, to sell more and uh, appeal to a wider audience with the same artwork. So when you have an enamel pin design, you have a vector design. You have a flexible design that you can use in lots of different mediums. So first and foremost, number one, stickers. Wizard and a wizard sticker. So you have like a, a $10 product and a $4 product. Someone might like both and get them both, which is awesome. Uh, someone might only be in the market for stickers. Someone might only be in the market for pens. So you have something for multiple people. Here's another one. I've got the sticker version and the pen version. Stickers are a really easy way to branch out and have something low cost in your shop for people to pick up. You can do um, vinyl cut stickers. You can also do sticker sheets or planner stickers as well. That way you have like kind of multiples on a page and they're not all weather. Another thing you can do is washi tape. So this is my gnome washi tape. And here I just have all the different pin designs all lined up in a row. Washi tape is really great because you can just reuse the same illustration, do it over and over and over and over again, just on repeat. Um, or you can add to the illustration. So I have a few examples of that as well. Here's an example. I have this little um, skull that I love and I use this skull and um, these cats and candy corns in lots of different ways. We've got my enamel pins. So this was the first one that I did. And I had this pumpkin from a previous design. I did the skull for this, I think, and then the cat from the previous design of my tree. And then I just made another one. So I guess this is the next one is make more pins out of it. <laughs> so you can kind of rearrange, reinterpret, and have kind of a cohesive set. A lot of people get the two of these together, which makes me happy because they were meant to be friends. And the stuff was used in that washi tape as well. And I reuse those elements here too. So I have the cat design with the pumpkin and the cat design with the same candy corn. And they're super cute. So some person might really like uh, a glitter pumpkin. Some would rather have a candy corn. And yeah, have lots of different variations in your shop. And while we're talking about the skulls, let's also talk about keychains. So keychains, you can do a couple of different ways. You can have a metal keychain or um, an acrylic keychain. Acrylic ones, generally you can do a lower uh, minimum order, which is nice. But if you have a pen maker or a pen manufacturer, that you really like, they can generally do keychains as well. So you can add that onto your order. It'll be probably a little bit more than a pin would to produce because obviously you've got more hardware and stuff like that. Uh, but it depends on your manufacturer and all the specs in your keychain. This one is that same skull design, but I made it big and glittery and I love it. I also have this skull design on its own as a smaller pin too. Like I love this skull and it makes me so happy. So I'm gonna put it on everything. <laughs> Speaking of everything, you can also do stud earrings. A lot of pin manufacturers will um, do stud earrings as well. You just wanna be sure that you find one that can do hypoallergenic or um, just specific, make sure you know the metals that they're using in their um, earrings. That's a very important thing to check up front. But yeah, it's the same little thing. So you can reinterpret a design in so many different ways. And this is great because people can have like matching sets. Like you can be wearing your skull earrings with your skull keychain and have a skull pin. And like, I don't know, it's a whole fun outfit, I think. <laughs> Another thing you can do is use notepads or sticky notes. The notepads I have, I haven't reused um, anything. I've made new ones, but it's really easy to add those elements from your pens to a notepad design or a sticky note design. Stick them in the corners, do whatever you want with them. Um, and that's a fun way to have kind of a cohesive stationary set. You could also do postcards or postcard prints. So those are really fun. You could do one element in the middle or you can do a whole illustration. Generally, I think with prints, you wanna do a more detailed illustration, but that depends on you and your art style. But that's another thing you can offer as well. Another fun product that's popped up in the last couple of years is sun catchers or rainbow makers. So these are really cool. I've had this one in the shop for a couple years, a year. I don't know. I've had it for a while. These are really fun because you can take them 
when you take them off, put them on a window, and they're basically like prisms. That's really cool. So I have the instructions on the back. And um, this was made from this design, this little kitten. I also made that into a keychain as well. So you can see um, using it in multiple ways. Okay, another product I've been really excited about and I've been having a lot of fun making is hair clips. This one, this one's harder because you have to really simplify and work with new materials and um, get the samples of the colors that are available, all that kind of stuff. So it's a lot to navigate, but I love it. So this is my logo design. And I also have another one that's just the cat head design. And you can see I use it on, I sell this washi tape too, and I use it to, um, to package my orders. And then this is the pin version that I use. Too much stuff. <laughs> this is the pin version that I will give away for free sometimes um, in my shop. So yeah, hair clips are another fun way to reuse imagery um, and designs to be used in other places. And the last one I wanna talk about is apparel. So, okay, for example, we've got this box, this little gnome, gnome guy, right? and we made him into a washi tape. We just alternated black and white designs on the teal background for the washi tape for him. But I also, I got a heat press machine. I don't know, I'm just messing around you guys. We've made gnome shirts before and all we did was take the image. It was basically just this, <laughs> the sticker on a t-shirt. So we had it on a teal t-shirt to match this color. And uh, so you can either put a design just straight on a t-shirt right like that in the middle you could also do like a repeating pattern and do like a print all over situation i know emin sprout does that for a ton of stuff and it's so cute another way you can reuse stuff is uh, for along the lines of apparel is like socks <laughs> you can get socks made with that so you can have a simple design repeated all over and uh, or just have a little design just on the top of the sock and um, you can also do uh, beanies the same way a lot of people sell beanies as well so take that one design and stick it right in the middle or you could have it woven and do a repeating pattern um, all around there's so many ways you can obviously so many ways you can incorporate your pin designs into different apparel um, which I think is really fun. Oh, I just remembered. You can also do more jewelry. So I have the earrings, you know, but you can also do pendant necklaces really easily. You can have matching sets of earrings and necklaces or uh, just go wild with uh, pendants as well. If there are any other ways that you've reused your pin designs in other products, let me know. Um, I've also used it in a floaty pin before. I'm, I made a glitter light up floaty pin a couple years ago. It's pretty great. Um, so there are lots of ways to reuse your designs and, um, and put them on other products so if you've done other stuff let us know in the comments because it's just really great to know what's possible um, and if you liked anything on this list uh, let me know let me know what you want to try I would love to chat about it in the comments so yay happy making if you like uh, product videos pin videos stuff like that be sure to give me a subscribe and a like and all of those things that I'm supposed to say at the end of a video and yeah, I hope this was helpful and I'll see you next time.